As in years past, the Vermont City Marathon will start at Battery Park. A quick left down Pearl and runners will go on a three mile loop that will bring them up Church Street and past the start line. I call it, you know, the tunnel of love. Not only does the start happen there, but then each relay exchange is right around there. Then it's on to the Burlington Belt Line. At mile marker five, the runners will come past the Ethan Allen Homestead. The Revolutionary War hero moved his family here in 1787, living the last two years of his life here before passing away. The home has been a museum here since the 1980s. The six mile loop of the Belt Line will bring the runners back downtown, this time down Church Street and south. Stop, They'll head down Pine Street through the heart of Burlington South End, running through Oakledge Park. One of seven Burlington parks the marathon route will take the competitors past or through. The course was really laid out to, to highlight all of the best parts of Burlington and also wanted it to be a flatter course. At the 15 mile mark, the runners will make the turn from Maple to here, the assault on battery. It's here that they'll face a climb of over 100 feet in elevation with the help of the Tyco drummers. Something that you're anticipating in a good way versus a negative, it's a hill. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Once they get to the top, the route takes them up North Avenue. A great place to see your favorite runner before they hit the finish line here at Lakewood Estates. Where the folks who live here go all out to make it fun for the runners as they wind their way through the neighborhood. Runners will cut through Letty Park as they make their way to the northernmost point of the city. At mile marker 22, the start of the Burlington Bike Path, the city's crown jewel of the park system, including the all new stretch of three miles of the Greenway, completed just in time for the marathon. The city and Parks and Rec have come together and they have worked so hard because with the kind of a tough winter we had, they definitely got a bit of a late start. You know, trees and flowers, it's just gorgeous. It's one of the most spectacular last four miles of a marathon that I've run. North Beach Park on Lake Champlain is the start of the last full mile, where runners will hear Waterfront Park before they see it. From there, you can start hearing, I'm literally getting goosebumps right now. You can start hearing the crowds and they're waiting for you and they're cheering for you. And so you start to hear that and feel that. For those that complete the 26.2 miles, an accomplishment they'll remember for a lifetime.